Hello and welcome, how are you guys? Today I am going to show you better Blue Stacks key mappings for Free Fire. First you need to go Blue Stacks controls and after that. <laughs> I know. Blue Tax 5 released couple of days ago but however these setting for users who still using Blue Tax 5 beta to make the ski mapping file. You need Blue Tax 4. Let's go to the video. All right. Let's make the setting file. First you need to go Free Fire settings and go to controls and select custom HUD. Now place and these buttons and resize like as me. Let's reduce is the backpack to 30%. Let's place the backpack button here. Also reduce size medi and wall icons. And place these buttons like this. Reduce size to 30%. Now select movement button and reduce size of it and place it down here. Select use button and heal button select and reduce its size 25%. Now place like this. Now place other buttons like this. Done. Now you need to go Blue Stacks Controls and select Advanced Editor. Why? I am not using Smart Scheme. I am not using because it have too much keys. Okay. Now select Standard and make new copy. I am rename it as Blue Stacks 5 Beta Key Mapping. And save it. OK now select it. Now place blue as tax keys above the free fire buttons, like this. You just follow me. Also you can get the idea how make your own key mapping. So just keep watching. Y. I am choose, E, key, and Q keys for Medi and Wall because these keys are easy to reach. Now remove this unwanted keys. And add F key to both healing. And use button. Okay let's go to fix auto movement and headshot settings. Now right click on this pen button. and change X to 
white to 59.53. Now change most sensitivity X to 1.0, after that change most sensitivity Y to 1.6, now change tweaks to 458. Now close pan settings and hit the save. Done, now I am going to set fast emote settings. Go to emote button and open emote panel. Now go to the blue stacks controls and select advanced editor. Now simply click on the screen to make new key holders and add unused keys. I am going add 8 different keys for this 8 emotes, like this. Now go to the add controls, add repeat a tap button, like this, after that place it above the emote. Increase its value to 15 and change it to tap, now add keys like this, you must follow my settings. After that select these keys and place the keys above the emote button, like this. Done, ok. Let's test the emotes. Now save the settings. Now you can do fast emotes like me. If you want to support me, give me a like. If you like my videos, subscribe my channel and join. Feel free to do that. Ok, let's go to the next step. Let's export this file and add it to the blue stacks 5 beta. Now go to the advanced editor again. Select this export button, now select settings layouts, select smart and standard, remember, don't miss these two layouts, now select blue stacks 5 beta key mapping layout like this, click on export, and save the file. Now close blue stacks 4. This the file I am exported. Now go to your BlueStacks 5 Beta installed folder. Go to BlueStacks Arabica. Open Engine folder. Now open User Data folder. Now open Input Mapper. After open User Files. This is the file I am going to update. Now drag and drop to desktop to this file to make a backup file. Now select the file and copy its name. Now go to user files again, delete this original setting file. Now drag and drop the exported file to this folder. Now paste the name to this file, or rename this file as com.dts.freeferit.cfg.
Now go and open Blue Stacks 5 Beta. Now turn on on screen controllers and select Blue Stacks Beta Key Layout. Now go to Free Fire Settings select Custom HUD again, and place keys like this. You just follow me again. After that save the HUD. Now go to Free Fire Sensitivity change it to 45%. Now turn off on screen HUD, OK. That's all guys. I hope this video helped you, if you like consider to subscribe my channel, see you soon guys, bye bye.